What's going on guys? So you're gonna have to forgive me for this video. Uh, a little under the weather this week, but uh, just trying to trying my best to sound normal. <laughs> it's not working out so well. But I do have an honest question. With all bias aside, what do you think about this Activision Blizzard Xbox deal? Do you really think that Xbox is going to take away Call of Duty from all the other platforms in 10 years? Or do you think that maybe they are going to leave Call of Duty and these other franchises on other consoles and move away from exclusives and be more about just selling software? Because in my mind, that is the only two ways that this could possibly go. People on the, you know, the PlayStation side are panicking. They're saying that, you know, obviously, you know, Jim Ryan's panicking. He's going, you know, meeting with these regulators, trying to push them to stop this deal from going through. And... You know, and now we have a lawsuit against the Xbox team uh, you know, to try and stop the, the purchase of Activision Blizzard. It's just, it's getting kind of crazy. It's really getting crazy, and it just makes me wonder, you know, which way is this really going to play out? And I think it is a big, big risk for PlayStation people. It's big, a big risk for PlayStation themselves. Um, but also, you know, it could just be nothing. Like, Xbox could have its eyes on something bigger than just the console market maybe pushing out playstation and nintendo maybe that's not really what they want maybe they want th those systems to stay in the ecosystem so they could put their games on those systems and make more and more money that would seem like the logical choice being that they can't really sell a, a ton of consoles to make they can't make a lot of money off these consoles they're losing money on each one they sell now obviously it, it goes without saying that if they did push PlayStation and Nintendo out, they could easily raise the price on those Xbox consoles to make profit off of them and nobody would be able to stop them. But does Xbox really want to go through that trouble? I just, I want to know, like, what do you guys think? I know this sounds good, like Phil Spencer's trying to make it sound good. He's trying to give these 10-year deals to Nintendo and PlayStation. And, you know, in my opinion, if I was PlayStation, I would just, you know, they probably would fight this to the last second. And then they would, I, if I was PlayStation, I would probably agree to that 10 year deal. And I would use that 10 year deal to come up with some competition for those, those big titles like Call of Duty, Diablo, uh, Overwatch, all those things. You know, I would get some of my studios, because they have plenty, I would get some of my studios to create competitors for those games and just try to make them bigger and better than what Activision produces. Being that really wouldn't be that difficult. I mean, Activision has a, has always just cookie cutter their games from Call of Duty to Diablo they're just very very similar uh, even with Diablo 4 it, you know it looks very much like Diablo 3 just with more realistic graphics and maybe you know return to the older games and the way it, it plays this is a turning point for the gaming industry right now if Activision Blizzard goes to Xbox nobody can stop Xbox from doing whatever it wants um, you know once that deal is finalized they could come out and say, nah, we're not doing a deal. Call of Duty is exclusive. Diablo is exclusive. They could do that. So, you know, you're going to have those people who just don't come off their console. They're not going to come off Nintendo. Call of Duty hasn't been on Nintendo in forever. And, you know, there's still people who just die hard Nintendo fans. Call of Duty comes off of PlayStation. There's still going to be people who are buying PlayStation. So I don't think that pushing them out is an option. I mean, I don't think it is. I mean, especially with their exclusives, those consoles are still gonna sell. So I don't see a future here where Xbox pushes them out and makes everything exclusive to Xbox and PC. I just, I don't see that. But maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know down in the comment section what you think, and I will be reading those and maybe get back to you with a response video. But anyways, I love you guys, I appreciate you. I hope you have a great week. Later guys.